we need to talk because this is really getting out of hand. What did Jimmy ever do to the internet? It's so bad to the extent that when he does good, everyone is going to be canceling him out. It's really ridiculous how you be shame someone, cancel him out and call him all sorts of names over doing good. I'm talking about my favorite creator, Mr. Beast. And recently, he uploaded a video where he built 100 wells in Africa, providing clean drinking water to the societies around. For clarity, I belong to one of the countries that benefited from that program. And to be honest, I live in this country and I see how like some neighboring villages struggle to go and get water. And I'm like, okay. Why aren't our governments doing something? And guess what? Some kind guy from the US comes down to Africa to use his money to do good to support what our government has not been able to do. And the internet is going to cast him out. <laughs> It's at this time I feel like strangling someone because Jimmy is the kind of guy that could have chosen to use that money to put a thousand girls on the streets to twerk for him. I mean, he can do that. Yeah, he can if he wanted to, but he chose to come down and provide a basic need. The most important thing for someone's health to live and boom, the internet is exploding. And don't even get me started on this poverty porn and charity porn that everyone is talking about on the internet. I have literally grown up in this country. Respect to the fact that I've grown up here. I've lived in a place or in a society where like some neighboring societies have to walk over 15 miles to get clean drinking water that is usable to do laundry, to cook food, like safe to drink. I wake up very early, about 4 o'clock, so that I can fetch water for the school. We are not safe. And what has the government done? I can't say they've done nothing, and I will not say that they've done anything big to make better standards of living for the netizens. The citizens still face this kind of problem until now. And Jimmy comes here and be, comes to Africa, builds wells, and everyone is going to cancel him out. Lord Jesus, I recently also noticed that on uh, one of his videos where he helped guys with eye problems that couldn't see, help them gain some sight again. And you started comparing him with Jesus. I can't compare Jimmy to Jesus. But if he loves doing whatever he does, you must excuse the man, leave him alone. If he loves helping doing the charity work, let it be. If he loves to do whatever he does, if it doesn't make sense to you, leave him, let him him be what is wrong with everyone it is something that you shouldn't say to someone that has done good boniface mwaji compared jimmy's humanitarian effort to the kenyan government saying we are shameful horrible and a begging nation governed by millionaires per cnn every five years we newly elect members of parliament and senators a five million shillings car grant fewer of those cars every single month actually it is almost like the same in uganda but we have no money to drill boreholes for our people we are a begging nation governed by multimillionaires thanks to jimmy he has helped african leaders or i could say african activists or whatever he has brought up a need to address these issues that our leaders have literally seen and forsaken here in uganda it's almost like the same thing Shami, how much money do the MPs get paid per month? Whatever the amount is. And on top of that, they have to get security being catered for, that is police or private security being catered for by the government. They have to fuel, or we have to fuel the car. Let me say it in that context, because we are the people that pay those taxes. And on top of that, they still get allowances. Fine, but... Do they deserve getting that much, yet they are not doing good things that are supposed to be done? But dear Jimmy, if whatever you're doing is making you happy, is fulfilling that person you want to be, it's alright. I actually also love the fact that one of the students among the schools in Nairobi, when he asked you, what is the definition to success? You simply replied pursuing what you love. I cannot say much more. If it doesn't make sense to anyone else, but it makes you happy and it makes sense to you, salute to you. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead. Do it. Do more of that. Do more of that. Till 
the world ends. You need to excuse the poor man to do whatever he pleases. If he decides to cure the blind, let him be. It's his money, not your money. If he decides to power a village with solar panels or give the village power with his money, let him do. It is his money. He would have chosen to use the money to put a thousand girls on the streets to track for him. I am Christian, but I am saying this, okay? Because I am pissed and I really can't I really can't understand why can't you put your brain cells together. I know that this guy is not doing it for the money. Or even if he was doing it for the money but he's doing the good. But who cares? If he was doing the charity work to, to, to become a celebrity, whatever he's doing it for, I do not care. Provided it's making people better and it's making him happy. I respect all that. But you need to leave the money alone. Jimmy, keep on what you're doing. I love you. You don't need to love me. All the best.